All right, guys, we got a nice fish on here. Just getting started today. I think it's a big pike. Eh, it's a pike, not a huge one, but a solid one. Running into a lot of these things lately, which is fun, even though we're chasing smallmouths. What I want to talk about today, guys, is throwing swim baits. It is super effective. I'm actually going to grab the net on this guy here because he makes me a little nervous the way he's hooked. All right, <laughs> not a bad pike. I mean, nothing wrong with this guy. Hooked on the outside of the mouth, which is nice. And as I said, we're talking swim baits today, guys. Little Kitek like that, cool little bait. I'm gonna show you all about how to throw these things, where to throw them, when to throw them, and some tips on how to get the most effectiveness out of them. Not too bad a fish to start the day, but we're gonna catch some big smallies too, so stay with us. today guys is just a small Kitek 4 inch swing impact. It's one of my favorite baits throughout the season here in Door County whether it's spring or summer. I just do really well on this bait. I know a lot of guys like the fatter version, the fat one, and I catch a lot of fish on that too but this thing here really, let me show you, just one of my favorite setups right here guys. The 4 inch swing impact by Kitek as I said. This is an electric shad color. It's got a little blue fleck into it. Just a good all around simple swim bait. And when you're throwing these, you really wanna keep it as simple as possible. It's a throw it out and slow and steady reel it in for me. I know a lot of guys like to impart too much action on it. When I get clients in the boat, oftentimes I see them jerking or pausing and speeding up and all kinds of different things. And, and on some days that works, don't get me wrong. There'll be days where stopping it or speeding it up or letting it fall a little bit will catch fish absolutely but overall if you just keep a slow steady retrieve on it let that little paddle tail do its thing it will catch a bunch of fish and cover a lot of water in the process and that's one thing i really like about them There's one, guys. These swim baits are so fun. There's just one of those cool, they're just one of those cool setups that just work year round. And for that reason, they're really one of my favorite baits. Another nice smallmouth. You know, like I said, whether you're targeting walleye, smallmouth, pike, these little baits. These little Kitex or any kind of paddle tail that you prefer really do catch them year round. So guys, the one question I get asked all the time is what's my favorite jig head for throwing these small swim baits? And to be honest with you, there's a lot of good ones out there. Personally, I really like the Berkeley half head jig. It's just a cool little jig head. It's got a nice sharp hook, a strong hook on it. I like the eighth ounce size primarily if I'm fishing anything eight feet of water or less and there's no really strong currents or big winds. And if I'm fishing a little deeper in that 10 to 12 foot flats or if we've got a lot of current from wind or whatever else it may be, then I'll go to a quarter ounce. But that Berkeley half head jig is a really cool little product. It's a perfect fit for the 3.8s and the four inch Kitex and the Berkeley Champ swimmers. I love them. I use them almost exclusively now, and I've been really happy with the results. So give them a try. There's another one. There's some really nice fish stacked in here right now. And as I said, these swim baits are just the ticket sometimes during this early season, and even during the summer. Ooh, this is a nice one. There's just something about them that works really good. This is another nice one. These little Kitex or whatever brand you prefer just flat out catch big smallmouth, pike, and a variety of other things. Let's get him back, see if we can get another one. You know, I think too often guys stress on colors, whether it's crankbaits, whether it's swim baits, whether it's jerk baits. And I know a lot of guys might disagree with me, and I understand that on a given day we'll see one color completely outproduce another. And I get it. I don't I don't have any problem with experimenting with colors to try to find the right bait on a given day. 
But overall, if your focus becomes too much on the color of your bait and you're constantly changing it, usually it just ends up causing you more problems than it does good. Try to keep your bait similar to the watercolor that you're dealing with on that given day. If you've got some stained water or if there's a little bit of a brown color to it, there's one. <laughs> If you're, if you're fishing those kind of conditions, then make sure you got a little bit of a darker swim bait. Try to match the color of the water. If you're in really clear conditions, go to a translucent type color or a blue pattern, something similar to that. Don't overcomplicate color. I can't stress it enough. It's not the most important factor when it comes to these. As I said, don't overcomplicate colors. Just keep them simple and make sure that you're not overthinking them. Let's get this guy back. We got one more fish on here. I had to stop at one last spot, <laughs> as always, right? There we go. <laughs> and as I said, we had to stop one more time to catch one more fish. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the cool videos we got coming out here in the near future. Thanks again, guys.